Hi, good evening. Good evening, How are you, Selena? I am fine. Okay, excellent. I'm good. Thanks for asking. I've been waiting for you. Okay, so we are going to begin with the final exam today, but I need you to tell me if you have questions or if you have already completed all the exercises in the platform or if you have had any problem, can you tell me? I'm sorry, Selena, but I can barely hear you. Sí, no sé qué habrá pasado, la verdad, pero vamos a iniciar de todos modos. Ya les mandé un mensaje ahí al grupo de WhatsApp. And I only have uh, three of you. So we are going to begin. But before that, uh, have you completed all the exercises that we have in the platform? ¿Ya terminaron de trabajar en la plataforma o aún les hace falta? Yes, teacher, I complete all the platform, okay. all exercises. Excellent. Thank you, Jonathan. How about you, Selena? Okay, excellent. And how about you, Brian? Eh, yo también ya finalicé con lo que es la plataforma. Creo que no tuve ningún conveniente a la hora de hacer los ejercicios. Ah, okay, perfect, excellent. So we are going to begin. Vamos a hacer entonces lo que es el repaso. Vamos a realizar lo que es el final exam. Just give me a few seconds. Okay, so I can see that someone won't be today here in classes. Hi, Gerardo, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, excellent. Okay, just give me a few seconds. I don't know why, but my computer seems that it's not working today. I don't know why, probably because it knows that we're finishing. Okay, so here we go. So we are going to begin with the listening part. Remember that an advice that I have always shared with you about these type of test is that to read the questions that we have that are going to be asked. So that way it can be easier for you to understand what we are going to be listening to or what is the part that we really need to be really careful with. So we are going to begin with that. I'm going to share the screen right now with you. So you can see here that we have the listening test. Hold on. Okay. And we are going to listen to the conversation that we have there. And then we are going to answer. Okay, so here we go. So we have the instructions that says, listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. So let's see, Selena, can you read the first question that we have, please? Catherine, Catherine has 
Okay, and what are the options? No, can you read the, the options? So, for example, the first, oh, second, and third one. Four, seven, nine. Thank you. Uh, continue with the second one. Brian, please. Nowadays, Mark is living at home with a friend or with his wife. Thank you. Jonathan, number three. Sharon usually goes to the gym uh, three times a week. Okay, but the options that we have? Uh, three times a week. Okay, thank you. Okay, we also have on Tuesday, on Thursday, sorry, twice a week and three times a week. And the last one, Gerardo, can you read it, please? Some of the men's younger brother and sister are in school have uh -huh. one child or are working abroad okay excellent so those are the questions that we have and those are the possible answers for each of them so now we are going to go and listen and based on that we are going to be answering the questions okay let me know if you can listen. Okay. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now, but I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes, I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow, how long do you spend there? around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. That's for sure. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, well, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay. So those were the conversations for the first part. So now let's see an answer. So number one, based on the first conversation, can you tell me what is the correct answer? Seven. Seven? Yes. And, okay, and how do you know that? How many brothers that she have and how many sisters that she have? Four sisters and three brothers. Okay, excellent. So let's see, number two. Nowadays, Mark is living. Okay. 
with a friend. With a friend, okay. Yes, he mentioned that. Okay, excellent. Let's see, number three. Sharon usually goes to the gym. Three times a week. Okay, three times a week. And the last one, some of the men's younger brothers and sisters. Okay, are in school. Okay, excellent. So, are all of answers correct? Yes? Yes. Okay, so let's submit them. Okay, perfect. So we got the first part done. Is it right? Or did you have any problem with it? No. No, okay. So we're going to go to the second part. The second part, uh, we need to complete some conversations and on that one you can see, or if you remember, we have two parts. So we are going to begin working on that. Just give me a few seconds while I erase the answers. Okay. And I think that this is one of the parts that you had problems with, right? Esta fue una de las que más les costó, si no me equivoco. Not to all of you, but some of you had problems with it. No a todos, ¿verdad? Sino que algunos tuvieron problemas. So, let's share it. Okay. So, here we have the first part. And as it says, complete the sentences with do, does, or would. So, let's see. Number one. Josué Mauricio. Gul. Uh -huh. Gul, Gul, you like to see a, a movie tonight? Sure, when I does it star. Okay, thank you. And you said that the answer is? Wood. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see, number two, we're going to have Erika. Erika, can you hear me? Do you like to see a movie tonight? Oh, sorry, do you like horror movies? No, not really. I think okay. that is do. And why are we using do? Because the uh, the pronoun is you. Okay, excellent. We have a subject pronoun that is you. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see the next one. Okay. So the next one, um, Tamara. Okay, what kind of music do you, do you from Ricardo like? Oh, does? Okay, so is it do or does? Mm, does. Why? The second or, or, or? No, we are in number three here. Does because mm, you, mm, in tercera persona se utiliza lo que sería does, but in okay. he, she, entonces aquí ah, es do, do or does, o estaba bien al principio, no, your explanation was good, we are going to use does. Why? Because I'm talking about your friend. I mean, Ricardo. 
Okay, so I'm talking about Ricardo. I'm talking about him. And if I'm talking about third person, I'm going to use the auxiliary does. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Thank you. So let's see the second part. A la mayoría por los mensajes que estaban enviando ahí el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? O que me enviaban así personalmente. Pude ver que sí, esta parte fue una que más les costó. Why? Because in some of them, you can see that we are not making affirmative nor negative sentences, but we have questions. En la mayoría o en algunas de ellas, ¿verdad? Si ustedes se fijan, acá yo tengo lo que es un signo de interrogación, lo cual me da a entender que es una pregunta. So, if I know that this is a question and that I need to make a question, how would that be, Brian? Um, is the WH word and the verb to be and the subject and the, the verb and ing and a complement and a question mark. Okay, so we have number one that says, how is your sister? ¿Cómo me quedaría la siguiente pregunta? Um, is she, how is your sister? Is she studying these days? Okay. Is she studying these days? Okay, excellent. Vaya, en algunos, o en algunas capturas de pantalla, Yo lo que pude ver es que me decían o me escribían solamente is studying, ¿ok? Omitiendo lo que es el sujeto, es decir, ella. So probably you didn't notice that we had a question and that's one of the reasons why you were getting it wrong. Esa es una de las razones por la cual le salía mala. So let's see the next one. Letter B. Um, let me see. That one is going to be for Gerardo. No, she isn't. She is working as a cashier at a grocery store. Okay. She is working as a cashier at a grocery store. So then we have number two. Sorry. Yes, number two. Letter A. Um, let me see. Okay, Alex. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Uh, is that David over there? Uh, who's waiting for? Who? Oh, who is wait? Who's? Oh, bueno, yo le he contratado. Who is waiting for? Okay, so you said that it's like this. Who's waiting for? for yes, teacher, but uh, uh, the subject. Ah, and what is the subject? Mm, he or there be. Okay. So you said, who's David? Uh, waiting for. Waiting for, okay. Yes. Thank you. And let's see the answer for that one, for letter B, Selena. His girlfriend, Martin, is coming on the car. Okay, so she is coming in on the bus okay thank you so did, go ahead uh-huh sí porque aquí estamos hablando coming in o sea que ya está viniendo 
en el bus. Ok. Sí, o sea, eso sí está correcta. No es claro. error, como a veces suele suceder. Ajá. No habrá problema que lo ponga contractado. No. Pues en la plataforma, no. No. Veamos, lo ponemos acá contractado. No, dicho, no, no, yo le decía en, mi, en, en la que yo le dije, no sé. ¿verdad? No. Ok. Veamos. Y si no está malo, pues revisamos. Okay. Y vemos por qué. Ok. Okay. So, let's check. Ajá. Let's see. Y, ajá, yo le iba a decir, dicho, si mejor sería who is he, o, bueno, o no sé si por lo contactado, no sé. <risa> Vaya, vamos a ver ahorita con el he. Okay. Y si no, lo ponemos completo, ¿verdad? Because we can do it. I mean, we can contract who is and whose to whose he waiting for. But let's see. Esperemos y veamos que acepte las respuestas. A ver si okay. lo acepta. So, no, no lo aceptó. Mm -hmm. So it has to be complete. Who is he waiting for? for. Okay, I now see. it is correct. But teacher, um... The contraction for is correct to say whose, for that example, is correct. If talking with you. Yes, you can, Alex. So you can okay. say who's that person, for example. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, any questions? Preguntas hasta aquí, hasta esta parte que hemos cubierto del examen. No questions? No teacher. Okay. So we're going to go to the next part. Uh, that one is multiple choice, but it is a, a small part. So let's go there. And it says, uh, choose the correct word. Let me check. We are going to begin with Josué Mauricio. And number one. Yes. Jay does every morning before breakfast. Is a yoga. Oops, sorry. Okay. Thank you. Let's see number two, Beatriz. How often do you play swimming in the summer? Okay, so you said that the answer is play? Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Segura que es play la respuesta? Mm. No, no. Go. Go. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. And number three, let's see, Jonathan. I sometimes play with my friends. The, the answer is baseball. Okay, excellent. I sometimes play baseball with my friends. Yes. So let's submit the answers and let's wait. Okay, so you can see we got them all correct. We got 25 out of 25. So now we're going to the next part. And I think that that is the last one, right? Okay, the last part for this exam, we have a reading. So we are going to read the information that we have there about an actress. 
let me share it with you. Okay. And then we are going to answer the we are going to answer the given question. Sorry. So let's see. Um, Gerardo, can you begin, please? Audrey Toto is a young French actress. She has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. And career, thank you. Career. Um, continue, Erika. Mm, Erika. Okay, I remember that I saw her here. So, Tamara, can you read the first part, please? It, well, um, uh, one thousand ninety eight, ninety hundred eighty seventy eight. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, remember in English we read the years in two. Uh, 1978. Okay, excellent. Uh, you <laughs> Continue here, please. Andrew is born in Belmont. French. France. Okay. France. Thank you. Continue, Selena. Okay, thank you, 1999. Uh, let's continue. Uh, Brian. 2000, 2002. Audrey acts in many movies, including Voyage, Voyage. 2000, then she plays a young woman, Kelly Amelie, in a movie of the same name. Amelie. 2001 is in French, but the film is a big international hit. Audrey becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. Audrey also acts in a film called God is Great, I Am Not, 2002. Okay, thank you. And the last part, let's see, uh, Jonathan, please. 2003, Audrey has a big year. She acts in the Spanish apartment and he loves me, he loves me not. She also acts in Dirty Pretty Things. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. Okay, excellent, thank you. So here we have a little bit about Audrey Tattoo, this actress, sorry. So now that we have read about her, we are going to go and we are going to answer these questions. So number one, Mauricio, can you read it please? In high school, Andre taught to act. Uh -huh. in, in play. In plays? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Alex, number two. 
many Americans like the movie. Um, se llama la de God is great and not. Are you sure? Um, puede poner otra vez las preguntas, las, las respuestas, dicho. Yes, I'm there sure you have the options. I had Emily. I think that is Emily, teacher. Uh -huh. Thank yeah, you. Because he's American. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Gerardo, the next one. Audrey acts in three movies in 2003. Okay. Thank you. And Beatriz. Number four. In her movies, Audrey usually speaks French. Okay. So tell me, are you sure about the answers? Uh, in the four, is four? Is it Spanish? 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 Well, no, okay. what I can see. Yeah, let's see. Uh, it says that she is a young French actress. Okay. And here in 2003, it says that this is the first time she speaks English in a movie. Um, so you can see... Well, well, we also have yeah. here. Sorry? But say uh, Andrew has a big year. She acts in the Spanish. No, that is the name of the movie. The Spanish oh. Apartment. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have here the Spanish Apartment. That is one movie. He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not is the second movie. And the third movie is Dirty Pretty Things. But she is French. And as it says here, uh, with the movie in 2001, 2001, sorry, it says that it is in French. But the film is a big international hit. Okay, so the answer here is French. Okay, so let's check right now and let's see. Okay, so you can see we got 25 out of 25. Excellent. So Tell me, was that easy for you? Yes, teacher. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> A little bit? Okay. And I was asking to the ones that were here earlier, if you have finished working on the platform or if you had any problems with it. Can you tell me if you already finished? Because remember that you have until today at midnight to send that information or to complete it. Yes? ¿Ya terminaron lo que es la plataforma o aún les hace falta? In my case, yes, teacher. Okay, excellent, Erika. Yeah, okay. También ya terminamos. Okay, perfecto. Excelente. Bueno, entonces. También, okay. Perfect. Vaya, otra cosa que había visto que ustedes habían escrito así en el grupo de chat, que les, envía, les habían enviado lo que es el formulario, ¿verdad? Para la inscripción del siguiente módulo. Bueno, este, sí, yo sé que a inicios de esta semana ya se les envió la notificación de que ya se está recibiendo la documentación. Si en el caso que ustedes aún no la han enviado, la fecha límite para recibir todo eso o, el, o la documentación, ¿verdad? Es el 23 de diciembre, ¿ok? Y eso es con el propósito de que se les pueda reservar la beca para el siguiente inicio, ¿verdad? El cual aún no tenemos una fecha tentativa exacta o no tenemos una fecha de inicio exacta, ¿verdad? 
solo sabemos que va a ser en enero del 2021. ¿Ok? Y en dado caso, si ustedes aún no han enviado eso, recuerden que tienen hasta el 23 de diciembre. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have questions about the exercises or everything or anything that we have done till today? Teacher, uh, <clears throat> the next uh, letter for for our uh, is printer media. Printer, Two. yes. Remember that you are in pre intermediate one, then you're going to go to pre intermediate two, and then pre intermediate three. Okay. No. Okay. Yes. And once you finish, so let me just share it. Okay. So basically, you finished the basic. We have basic one, two and three okay now you are in pre intermediate one you're going to the pre intermediate two and then three okay después del pre intermedio ustedes ya van a lo que es intermedio okay but still we have three levels intermediate one two and three Media vez hayan pasado los pre-intermedios, ustedes van al pre-advanced. De igual manera son tres, ¿verdad? Tenemos el uno, dos y tres. Y terminando eso, ustedes pasan a lo que es avanzado. De igual manera tenemos tres niveles, ¿verdad? Ok. Así es como se componen los módulos en los que nosotros estamos trabajando. Iniciamos con el básico 1, después básico 2 y básico 3. Pasamos al preintermedio, ¿verdad? Preintermedio 1, 2 y 3. Ustedes ahorita irían para el preintermedio 2. Media vez terminemos lo que es el preintermedio 3, ustedes pasan a lo que es intermedio. Terminando los tres módulos del intermedio, pasamos al preavanzado. Y terminando los tres del preavanzado, vamos al avanzado. ¿Ok? Esa es la manera en la que se van estructurando lo que son los módulos. Ok, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. Another question? No? No. Ok. ¿Todo fácil para ustedes? ¿Ningún tema les dio dificultad? ¿No? No, teacher. Ok. Ok, excellent. So, if I tell you that you're going to have an oral exam right now, what would you do? I'm sorry, teacher. Can you repeat again, please? Yes. Uh, let's suppose that we're going to have an oral exam right now. What would you do? Um, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Why not? I think that, I think that, no sé, I think that my, my, my score will be maybe eight why or because um i didn't study before you didn't study okay yeah. and how about the so, others sorry go ahead no it's okay okay thank you and the others what do you think Oh, Dad, sorry. Sorry, it's because I think that I'm going to get the flu. I, I, I don't know why, but I think that I'm going to have the flu. 
Okay, no, I was telling you that if we were going to have an oral exam, how would you think it would be? No? O no le gustan los exámenes orales a ustedes, las entrevistas y nada de eso. Uh... In my case, I, I had um, some exam, um, oral exam, right? Uh -huh. But um, I don't like. <laughs> you don't like them, why? <laughs> because uh, uh, for me, it's a more difficult um, the, the listen, the listening. Listening, okay. So, I, I don't understand uh, when and uh, the, the people uh, taught me or uh, told talk me, right? Okay. So, for example, if I ask, tell me a little bit about your family. Uh, I can answer that my family is. A big family, and and my um, my father is employee. My my mother is housewife, and I have uh, seven brother, uh, seven siblings. Uh huh. Right. Okay. And how old is your mother, Jonathan? Um. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe she ha she is forty seven years old. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So you see, you're answering. Excellent. So how about you, Gerardo? <laughs> Tell me, what does your mother do? She is housewife. And how old is she? Yes, Tisha. How old is she? She is 62 years old. Ajá, lo veo que se queda pensando. Ajá, okay. <laughs> Let's see. How about you, Mauricio? Hello. Hello, can you describe your family, Mauricio? Um, um, and my family? Yes. Mm. Uh, uh, super good. And who do you live with? I am, um, yeah, I live in Santa Ana City. And who do you live with? Con quien vive? I live with my wife and my daughter. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Brian. What are you doing now? Hello. Hello, Brian. What are you doing now? Um, I, I, I studying in this moment, and uh -huh. I, I live with my, my mother, my father, my two brothers. And, and okay, and what is your family doing, Brian? 
my family doing and my family and my brother is working and my my mother is a housewife and my brother is a baker my other brother is a student and my father is an employee okay excellent thank you brian let's see beatrice Beatrice? Hello, teacher. Okay, Beatrice, can you tell me what kind of music do you like? Hey. ¿Qué música me gusta? Yes, what kind of music do you like? Um, um, Uh, I like bachata. Es la que más me gusta. Okay, and who's your favorite singer? Um, my favorite singer. Uh, Romeo Santos. Uh, and, uh, Okay, thank you. And do you exercise, Beatrice? Um, eh, Sí, hago ejercicio, es verdad. Yes. No. You don't? No. Okay. So. Por el momento no. Okay. Thank you. Let me see. Selena. How about you? Tell me. Um, where do you work? Selena? I work in my house, but I do work. Okay. Yeah, where do you work? I don't know work. Okay, so let me see another question. Um, where are you from? I'm from El Salvador. Sorry, can you say that one more time? I'm from El Salvador, the farming is Ah, so you are from Cuscatlan? Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, Tamara. Tamara, can you tell me what kind of music do you like? Ma, I like rock and... Pop music. Okay, and who's your favorite singer or band? My favorite singer is eh, La Posada de los Muertos <laughs> of El Mago de Oz. Ah, so your favorite singer or your favorite band is Mago de Oz. My favorite ma band is El Mago de Oz and my favorite thing of the El Mago de Dios es eh, 
La Posada de los Muertos. Ok, so your favorite song is La Posada de los Muertos. Yes. Ok, excellent. And tell me, what did you do last weekend? Um, I'm going to work. Uh, I don't, it's okay. Work or job? Uh, okay. Do. So, what do you want to say? Eh, uh, trabajar. Work is okay. Yes, I went to work. I went to work. I went to work. <laughs> Um, um, take a class. Okay. Take the class. Take or in the took? morning. Took a, a class. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, how about you, Alex? What did you do last weekend? Mm, I stay at the at home teacher. Okay, so you didn't work? No, this week I'm not. Ah, okay, excellent. But this Sunday I, uh, I'm gonna work. <laughs> okay, so you have the weekend off. Perfect. Yes, teacher. Okay, and where do you work, Alex? I work in Claro. What time um, do you start work? Uh, I start to work eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. And what time yeah. do you finish work? Five o'clock. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So this was just an exercise just to see how good you are at listening. Era solo así una pequeña prueba, ¿verdad? Para ver que tan bien estamos con lo que es el listening. Y pues si puedo ver que estamos bien. Este, no sé si tienen preguntas o dudas acerca de lo que se ha estudiado durante el módulo. Yo no, teacher, pero mire, ver si tengo alguna duda con respecto para el, para el envío de papeles. ¿Qué puedo escribir? I'm sorry. Permítame, ¿cómo fue? Sí, le, le preguntaba a teacher si en algún momento tengo algún problema con enviar los, los documentos. Le, Ajá. Le puedo escribir para, para que usted me apoye en algo. Sí, sí, con mucho gusto. Si en dado caso ah. ustedes llegasen a tener algún problema, pues ahí me escriben al número del WhatsApp y yo ahí les estaría dando seguimiento, ¿verdad? Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Another question? Ok. Bueno, si no hay más preguntas, entonces nos quedaríamos hasta acá, ¿verdad? It's been a pleasure working with you. Um, and we might probably see you next year. I'm not sure yet, ¿ok? But if you have any questions, drop our concerns, please feel free to contact me. And I'm there to help you, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you for everything. You're more than welcome. Thank you for everything. And happy holidays. Thanks, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank Bye. You for everything. Nice meeting Bye. you, too. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.